In this screencast, we'll finally look at a snapshot captured by dot .memory and explore what information is contained in there. We are profiling a standalone application here and have already captured one snapshot. Since that snapshot, the application has been running for a while, so let's capture another one. Once a snapshot is captured, we can dive into it and start analyzing. .NET memory management is quite complicated and provides a lot of information that can be overwhelming at first. .memory tries to summarize all that information for us. The snapshot overview contains several diagrams and lists. The largest size diagram shows types of objects that consume the major part of memory. The largest retained size diagram right next to it shows us the key objects that hold other objects in memory. Dot memory also looks for common memory usage patterns for some potential issues. String duplicates searches for strings that occur more than once in memory, basically wasting space. Sparse arrays shows us which arrays have been declared too large for the amount of data that they are currently holding. Event handler leaks shows us all objects subscribed to events that are held in memory because they have not unsubscribed properly. In fact, it seems we have a few of those occurrences in our application. .memory also checks for .pf binding leaks, as well as dependency property leaks and a couple more. Near the bottom, we can see the heap fragmentation. It shows us the amount of memory stored in each managed heap and lets us check how fragmented they are. Especially with the large object heap, for example, this is really useful information, as fragmentation there may cause out-of-memory exceptions in our application. Clicking the heap fragmentation will show us more information. The main idea of dot .memory is to investigate a snapshot like if you were a police detective. We can start with a huge list of suspects and narrow that list down based on clues that we can find. On the left, we can navigate back and forth between steps of our investigation and groups of suspects. Let's go back to our snapshot and look at all objects held in memory. In the all objects list, we can see all objects that are in the snapshot. We can see how many objects of a given type have been created and the amount of memory they consume. Retained memory is shown as well, showing us the amount of memory that is consumed by objects that are kept in memory by a given type. We can filter the list, apply sorting, look at different types of diagrams and so on. In the next video, we'll investigate a potential memory leak and see how that memory can help us with analyzing that. Till next time!